Sunday, October the 24th of 2021. Um, I wish I had an update for yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling awesome and I was a little bit frustrated. At the end of the day, last Sunday, I was well on my way to putting in the floor of the back porch um, outside the kitchen and it's starting to veer a little bit off of 90 degrees and that's really frustrating. So what I need to do is actually have to go back in and pop some more of those boards off um, and pray I don't damage them. And then I've got to shave down a little bit of the crowning on um, the existing joist. It's just kind of bumping up a little bit. And I think that's actually been that way for a while, but anyways, um, so some days you just, it's a blessing in this house. You just decide to do what you feel good about. Um, so yesterday didn't feel awesome. I actually kind of stayed in bed a little bit, um, caught up on some sleep and did some work. So today I really wanted to do some demo. So I'm here in the dressing room that my cousins helped me kind of get all of the jip board down. I do want to go ahead and take down this um, ceiling paper. Uh, and then this will be ready to start reconfiguring. Um, other things I have left to do in this room. Currently there are two doors. This is going to be going away. And then this kind of closet area also will go away. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, but that's not it. Um, and I'm just hanging on to it right now because it's really handy to put things. Um, but what I worked on was here. Uh, it's actually the um, sleeping porch, if you will. It's a long porch that was outside of that bedroom, uh, which I'm gonna make the dressing room. Um, so <clears throat> I had about 50% of the demo done in here and I got all of the rest of the jip board down. So really excited about that. Um, and probably the most exciting thing, uh, frankly, the reason why I was doing this is I wanted to learn about where this door was uh, because I kind of had gotten conflicting stories and interestingly enough, this wasn't braced, which is rare for how they were furring the walls in. A lot of times they would just take random pieces of wood and that just made it really hard to demo. So kind of excited to see that that wasn't quite as much work. Um, you can see that that big white piece was a nice door molding and they jacked it up using it as furring. <sighs> Um, so we'll do what we can, uh, but it's really frustrating when they do that. Uh, you can also see some of the kind of cool wallpaper we got going on. So we have this kind of gold fleck business, I'm guessing like 70s. And then this was kind of some cutesy flower stuff. Um, obviously water damage at some point, not surprised. Um, but yeah, a couple of different patterns. I thought that was kind of cute. On the other side of this, you can actually see in that opening where they had a light switch, um, is the brick for the uh, three-sided chimney downstairs. Um, again, you can see definitely water damage. This most likely had to do with kind of shifting around the chimney over the last 125 years. I'll, I'll give them that. Um, but it's not appearing to be active. Every time that I've had a rain, knock on wood, we haven't had anything. Um, so we're gonna just go with that. Uh, the next thing that I also wanted to look at was starting to frame this back in. So now that I've gotten the demo done, I can finally start putting this back together and making these two different rooms. So it will be two windows and then a door and then another two windows. Um, and <laughs> I'm basically guessing because you really can't tell what the dimensions are anymore. Um, how tall the window was, how wide it was. Um, I'm just going to kind of go with my best guess, but an educated guess would be, I'm probably going to be looking at these joists. You see that little opening right there? Um, likely what happened was when they started to mess with all the framing here, they probably, um, cut into that wall and basically built a temporary support that used those two studs, um, to kind of hold that area up for a little bit so that they could get, you see that lighter piece of board so that they could get a sister joist that's spanning all the way across up in there. Um, so I'm going to guess that's what they did, <laughs> but, um, I might be using those dimensions to kind of go off of as far as windows and doors and things. I think that's probably the, the easiest, um, most educated way of doing it. Of course, I'll also be looking for nail patterns uh, to see where the rest of them are. But anyways, got to reconfigure all of that. I'll just give it my best shot. 
Um, and then over here, uh, the same thing. So all of this is wrong and we're just going to basically take it all out. Um, so the window, the doors, all that goes, um, what this will go back to be being is what it basically was previously, two windows, a door, two windows. Um, again, I have to make all of those. So I probably, you'll see something temporary, but it would sure be nice to be able to close in this middle wall um, so that I can kind of store my clothes and kind of keep this a little bit warm, maybe this winter, and then have kind of an additional buffer, an additional layer of structural wall on the outside. This is all pretty much open and leaky anyway. So um, anyways, yeah, that would be really exciting. And I may have to do some temporary things because again, I've, I've said that I'm gonna go back and rebuild a whole bunch of windows all at one time um, and doors as well. So that may be what you see in the future. Uh, but to do all of that, I kind of have my last little step here, which is to take out this darn floor. <laughs> and I don't like how they put it down. So this is a piece of plywood subfloor. Um, and then it's got some sheet vinyl that's glued onto it. Um, that's all nailed down into the original floor, which I could strangle somebody for. Um, also, we've got a baseboard. That's the board that's coming up, and that is attached to a stud wall that was put down here. And the wall was actually put down with a double sole plate. So there are actually two two by fours running across, across there, which is great for less movement, but a real pain when you're trying to get it back up. <laughs> so not a fan of that. I can't just uh, bang on this and get it out because it's wedged in between that plywood. Um, so that's going to take some muscle that I don't have today, <laughs> but at least I got the rest of it and I've answered kind of one of my big curious questions. Um, I could actually bust through that now. Um, I was waiting until I got kind of all of the messy, dusty stuff done. And then I was going to go ahead and bust through just to kind of see what that feels like. Um, and then for the winter, I'll probably just kind of put plastic up and and go from there, unless I find a door. Um, also, speaking of doors, uh, one of the next projects would be, you can see there's the back of my um, air barrier sheet product. Uh, back when we had our unprecedented winter, um, I kind of just scrambled and just put air barrier up all inside that room. Um, and when it got really desperate, I took old laundry. So fleece sweatpants and sweatshirts and anything I had and just kind of shoved it around the edges just to kind of help insulate a little bit more. So you do what you got to do. Um, anyways, and then on the other side, I put plastic up. So I was helping um, to kind of keep that air still and maybe if I could get it heated and kind of keep it still, it would add kind of an additional insulative air layer. Um, so over there and behind those boards that you see leading up there, which are... Um, baseboards, I flipped around and they're painted on the other side. Uh, I have a door opening and eventually a door will go in there. In fact, I might temporarily put a door in, but I think what I'm gonna do, and pardon me for talking about cats for a minute, but um, this is actually really important for the house. So I need to teach the cats how to use a cat door. They've never needed that because you guys have seen this house. We've got holes everywhere. Um, in fact, uh, today the door's been open and Hera has wanted to go out to the roof so badly. Um, so every time she would get close, I would move and she'd panic and she'd run away, but they really love being out on the roof, especially in good weather like this. Um, anyways, so this room I anticipate will kind of be a thoroughfare for them. I'll probably keep the cat box here. Um, so it's kind of central and I need them to be able to go from room to room to catch mice. That is a real issue here. Um, they do a phenomenal job. So they do serve a purpose and I need to encourage that, but they've never seen a cat door in their entire life. Um, ultimately what I would like to do, they are all vaccinated, microchipped and spayed or neutered, um, is they actually make a cat door that works off of their microchips. So ultimately I would like for them to be using one of those. Um, but in the interim, I think I just need to get them uh, used to going in and out of a door. Um, so I think I'm going to build a temporary door, and you guys can laugh at me, um, where they can practice going in and out, and then we'll upgrade to the fancy stuff. Um, but anyways, I say all of that to say that's probably going to take me a day to kind of get all that put together, and it's temporary, which is kind of irritating, but it needs to be done, and um, they're smarties. They'll figure it out. 
uh, anyways, so, uh, yeah, I think that is about it. I'm really excited. You can see actually the two, um, iron beds here. Uh, as soon as I can get this floor up and start getting some frame in it, I can put those together, order me some mattresses and we've got another bedroom ready to go. So that's kind of cool. Um, but in the meantime, I'm at least making some progress as far as cleaning out. Now the bittersweet thing is I wasn't planning on doing this today. So you see this pile here, it is the last of the trash that I need to clean up and guess who is out of contractor bags? Yeah, this girl right here. Um, so I've been downstairs. I don't think I have any, I usually keep a box downstairs, a box upstairs and a box in the attic. I know there's one in the attic, but I have to crawl completely to the other side. I don't particularly want to uh, do that today. So um, it's a little frustrating that I did this to myself. But I may actually drive, get the box, um, come back up here and clean everything up because I frankly just don't want to leave it like this. It will get all over the house if not. Um, and that's kind of the point was I wanted to kind of clean this area up because then I can start to kind of bring some stuff in here. I can bring the new electrical equipment, um, get started on putting that in so I can have the electricians come in. I can start to bring my clothes in. Um, and it would just be really nice to have another kind of clean space located next to the bedroom that I'm using. Anyways, just kicking myself. Don't be like me. Um, but some days you just have to do what feels good. So you guys take care. Have a really great rest of your week and we will talk soon.